What was that? Is that what you call cleansing your face? Yeah. If it can wash my body, it can certainly wash my face. Wait. What are you doing? If you're not cleansing your face properly every day, then might as well throw away all your skincare products. And this applies to all those who don't wear makeup too. Your sweat, your skin picks up dust and dirt throughout the day. A good cleansing routine resets your skin and allows everything you apply afterward to sink in. It has that dominoes effect for good or bad. Please follow my today's 5 tips to change very commonly seen bad facial cleansing habits and you're welcome in advance. And please commit to better skincare steps and not just buying new products one after another. Welcome to my channel Blush with me Parmita. Number 1 do you wash your face with a product that's not really meant for your face? And I have come across some of my clients and even some of my friends who friends, friends who don't hesitate to use a bar of soap or a body cleanser or sometimes even hand wash to wash their face. Let me know in the comment below if you're guilty of this. Just use that raise your hand emoji and I'll know. If you use a body bar or body cleanser or even a product that's called face wash on your face, know that they will dry out your skin and you will experience excessive dryness and then you will need more moisturizer and this could completely throw your skincare routine off. Have you ever noticed that when you use that bar soap on your face, it kind of makes you feel super squeaky clean like suspiciously clean. That is your skin barrier stripping and drying out and crying for help. Try my stretch test. Like just stretch your face after you wash to see how stretched and dehydrated your face feels just within a couple of minutes after you wash your face with a bar or whatever else you're using. It becomes like a rigid elastic band that cannot really stretch. But my dear, a face cleanser is made to purify, hydrate your skin barrier and soothe your skin. You won't get that stretchy feel like that loss of elasticity after you cleanse your face. Cleansers don't even lather up into a foam like a face wash or a soap. So now you understand the difference between just washing and cleansing your face. Is this what I was doing to myself all these years? Don't worry, now I am here, Parmita Karkar, and you are on my channel. If you are new to my channel, then I welcome you and I remind you to quickly hit that subscribe button. If my first tip was an eye-opener, stay tuned because there are more mistakes coming right up. Change these and watch your skin transform in as little as one week. Some of these might actually even show a difference overnight. So the second mistake. Second mistake is to wash your face quickly. Cleansing takes a little bit of time. Take at least 60 seconds to wash your face thoroughly. If you're washing your face in 15 seconds, then don't expect that the ingredients in your cleanser would have even started working. Properly washing your face for at least one minute softens your skin and it starts to dissolve sebum blockages better. You'll start seeing an improvement in your skin texture too. I've actually been meaning to make this video for such a long time so I can explain to you how you should actually wash your face in this one minute. Comment section is where you let me know if you want to learn how I suggest you cleanse your best, best face for best results in 60 seconds. The video will tell you even the temperature of water to when to use lukewarm water versus cold water when you're cleansing your face but never hot water. Mm -mm. So this is a cleanser from Isntree that I've been using for the last one year and this is my second tube in one year so clearly it lasts a long time. Dermalogica is another face cleanser that I've really been impressed with. Now notice this one has low pH cleansing foam. It also has balanced pH 5.5 to 6.5 for healthy skin. It is blended with 17 amino acids. It has hyaluronic acid. It is just Amazing. I never feel tight or dry on my skin when I wash with this cleanser. This video is not sponsored by either of the brands. You can see this bottle, it's almost coming to an end. So these two cleansers for me literally do everything from removing makeup to everything else that I mentioned about hydrating, cleansing your skin throughout and that too in literally one step. 
So there is no drama about double cleansing, oil cleanser, makeup removers, none of those. So literally one step is all it takes for your skin to be completely ready for the next steps of skincare. Time saver? Check. Now here is my special suggestion. I would suggest that you avoid using a face cleanser twice a day. We don't really need a cleanser in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, you don't have makeup, you don't have any pollutants on your skin. I personally have been cleansing my face with honey in the mornings and I save my cleansers only for the evening. Now why honey? Because honey is antibacterial, it's a humectant so it draws moisture into your skin, it hydrates your skin and it reduces any kind of inflammation or irritation you may have. It preserves your skin's acid mantle and regulates your skin pH. There are literally five or six different ways in which I can use honey in my skincare routine. And there are also many fun recipes that include honey in your skincare. So who is interested? I've shared this information on my subscription platform. Make sure you click on the link in the description to join this exclusive membership platform. You get to learn more and support your favorite content creator too. Here comes the third mistake. Do you exfoliate every day? If you do, you need to stop it right now because when you exfoliate your skin every day or even if you do it frequently like every other day, it can strip your skin off its natural oils and it can cause breakouts. When you exfoliate your skin every day, you are removing the top layer of your skin before it can even heal. During the initial consultations, during my one-on-one -on -one face yoga classes, I also try to understand my clients' skincare routines. And I so often come across people who don't even choose their cleansers or cleansing methods based on their skin type. Your skin problems are unique to you. So how can something that resolves a problem for someone else be the right solution for you? I see so many people who say, oh, my friend suggested this. Oh, her skin looks great. So I bought the same cleanser or the same product. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so everyone seems to be very impressed with Korean skincare tips. Now, here is one that has impressed me too. It says to apply your skincare products within three seconds after washing your face. I am a total believer of this one. Damp skin can absorb ingredients better than dry skin. No, I don't want you to actually rush and start doing this within three seconds. Within about a minute is also a good time. If you think you're going to dry your whole body and moisturize it and then get to your face, then you're too late. All these steps make sense, right? Easy to remember too. Now start implementing these and let me know how it goes. If you're on my subscription membership platform, you can even share your pictures with me and we do it in a closed community. All you need to do is just pay a small subscription fee where we can stay connected, interact and being members even gets you access to special posts or special pricing on my exclusive workshops. You will only benefit more if you choose to learn more. Before you go ahead and watch my other videos, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this video with your friends whose skin needs some more care. I'm your impression management and face yoga coach, and I'm here to help you become a better version of yourself. Follow me on all my other social media handles you can see on the screen right now, and I will see you next week. Until then, Blush with me.